Good morning everyone. It has been raining during the night. You were in our map. But uh, right now it's it's a fine weather and it's going to be sunny today. And there is dark. So we are going to seed the grass field today and after that we are going treasure hunting for the golden nuggets and hopefully get ourselves a million dollars a pound so ever so whatever currency we got we will start with picking up the eggs. There we go. And we we'll go and get the cedar. And when we bought it, I said um, that it would fertilize too. Um, that is not true. The sewing machine that was seed corn will fertilize too, but not this one. And I think I will have to get my work lights on. Something that you won't be seeing much of either is me getting uh, play to play first person. It makes me really nauseous. So uh, unless you want to come here and clean up after me, you will only see it on. Um, Oh, sorry. Well, that Anna collision on the head is there, so it would have gone <laughs> well. But it's not very realistic that I would drive through the hedge. Um, I will do it on certain occasions, but it will be very rare. Sometimes when I am driving too fast, I go in and drive and do cab driving. But as I said, it's very rare. Because it's much easier to drive too fast in third person than in first. At least that's what it is to me. And we have grass there. Okay. And we will... We will go like this. And so... And so... Off we go. will take it in uh, jello time so we start as soon as we can and um, we will do some headlines here and let's see if I can back it up oh, uh, that was not what I intended to do could you please cooperate with me like 
so now we are talking the same language. You should have waited for a while because you don't see that much at the moment. Backing up a little bit there to get that corner. Hopefully, we got it. We get past that tree. And I think it's a meadow. It's hard to game being so jumpy. Before. Well, I know there's a tree there, and you don't have to go into it. But if you insist, there is nothing more I can do. But we have to reverse here too, like so. And uh, I made this more tricky than necessary for myself, as I usually do. But that's how it is sometimes. Grout seed isn't uh, very expensive, so it's um, it's not that um, worrying economically. What's worrying is that I'm getting stuck in the tree. And that's not what I'm supposed to do. This is all, almost comic. Comically. Now I'm concentrating. You can hear it in my voice. There is no, not much volume in it when I'm not thinking of speaking more clearly and loudly. Uh, if you didn't follow my um, uh, lawful series, you haven't heard that um, during July and half of August, my husband will be home most of the time. Not this week, but. Um, then he will be home for four weeks having a vacation and there won't be much time for me to stream as to make videos I mean um, as 
I have my computer in our living room at the moment because of my dog that has poor elbows and aren't allowed to go and in stairs and normally I have my um, office and my computer upstairs and have my own room but that won't so as long as um, our lab is alive and he hopefully will be for many years to come but um, oh there will be times when I have a hard time to record and that is when my husband has vacation and uh, having days off from the company where he works So he's uh, most of the time he's off Monday to Friday day uh, six thirty to four thirty p.m. So I have to do this during daytime. I would sometimes I record during the evenings when he is uh, watching television. But then I have to do voiceovers. And there are videos that doesn't lend itself to that. Because I, I think it's rather hard. I did uh, some episodes on Law Falls uh, with, with voice all over and uh, I thought it was hard to uh, be enthusiastic about things it was more a mumble about how I'm doing this now and doing that and the blah 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 and um, it was boring in general at least for you <laughs> it wasn't boring for me because I do like to watch what I have done myself and um, it's actually educating to watch yourself um, uh, doing things and um, what you have done on the video and y you learn or at least I learned a lot that I have had um, it, would, it has been easier doing things after that I'm now start interviewing other YouTubers in another night too because of that and um, I found that I'm no worse than anyone else maybe I'm a bit boring and um, I think it's uh, mostly because I'm very focused and uh, I do have the disadvantage not having English as my native language and 
That makes me less versatile when choosing words <laughs> to describe things and, and um, so on. Um, but I hope you will cope with that. Um, even if I don't have uh, any good teachers, <laughs> I still learn and I get very angry at myself sometimes when I know I could have used other words or I knew I know I could have used better grammar and but most of the time you don't think about it when you're speaking and afterwards you think why didn't I say like this or why didn't I say like that or, and I used um, the wrong grammar I used the way we put together sentences uh, in a, a swinglish way and if you didn't know it I'm from Sweden and um, I'm quite old compared to most other girls that are gaming I, in my generation, there wasn't many gamers. I'm born 1960, so I'm uh, will be 70, uh, 57, 75, 57 years old this year. So. Um, and I've been gaming since 1988 which is quite a long time it's 30 years next year and I do believe that there ain't many female gamers that can beat that at my age So, um, I'm unique in some ways. We're all unique. And we're all different as gamers. And we should be proud about it. Now, I got a comment the other day that... Um, they thought it was peculiar that um, uh, an old lady was playing farming simulator because I do play Sims 4 too and um, I have to say why should boys play with cars and tractors and girls play with dolls why not play with both of them? I did so when I was young and I'm out of course it seems like oh no I'm not it's um, me that did some stupid thing there where I came from the other other direction we would correct that very soon in the next class I grew up with a lot of cousins at my grandfather's farm and in our seven but no five boys and two girls that's what we were and we all played together so it's it's not very surprising that we mostly played voice games if there are such a thing as boys games and girls games uh, so uh, I played with dolls too but uh, very little I played boys games more than girls games
so I don't think it's uh, weird, as the person said, that I play with tractors. I do both, with girls' games and boys' games. And I love to play role-playing games like Skyrim. I played at least 4,000 hours of Skyrim. And I almost played 2,000 hours of this game. So that's it. And you shouldn't do like I did right there. It's not a good way to do it. Getting to our first obstacle. So could I get by? I think I will have to reconsider what I was thinking to do first. Come on! Yes. <laughs> well, come on, then we. And yes, I do talk to my tractor as she was a doll. And um as soon as we have dealt with these minor let's see. like this. Yes, we can. And I don't know if we are. Yes, we are. And you, we are not. There's any pressure. That was interrupted. So what we will be doing now is that I will put this to um, a time lapse. So you see what I'm doing, even if you don't like what I'm doing, you will see what I'm doing. And um, I will talk to you again when we are uh, at the end of this field.
So we are nearing uh, the end. <laughs> I sound like a captain on an airplane. We're going in for landing. We have two passes left. And then this field will be over and done with. It will be the only time we've seen it. There will be a tiny, tiny little strip there that we have to take care of. And then I know I have made some little things I missed. Both here and over here. If I can find it again. It's a small green doesn't matter I think we let it be with that and I shouldn't be driving over it but um, well I just did And we have finished our grass seeding. There are Uncle Hans. He was saying last night that um, when it gets time for harvest, he was thinking that oh, that is a young. That he might be able to help me uh, driving the tipper. The harvester was too shaky for him, but the tipper would be okay. At least he thought so. And that would be lovely. I get someone to help me. See if we can put this back into its place in the shed. and um, that my friends will be all for this episode and in the next one we are going to hunt down the golden nuggets so I hope to see you then and until then have a really good one and do take care.